I flip the dress inside out and then fold it in half. Then I'm gonna trace the whole dress. Once you've traced the whole thing, if it fits you, great, then you're done, that's it. But if you wanna make any adjustments, then you do that now. This armhole is too small for me and I wanna make it bigger, so I'm gonna add an inch onto the armhole. I also want to make the dress a little shorter, two inches on that. We need to mark where the front is. I also wanted to make my straps thinner, so in order to get the front pattern, we need to trace this. Just tuck that in. Try to keep the dress in place while you do this. And then you can trace right here. Now we gotta make the armhole bigger. So this is easier to do with a curved ruler. I'm just connecting the two points. You match up your ruler with your two notches and that will give you your new armhole curve. I wanna make this strap thinner, so I'm gonna do basically the same thing, but I'm matching it up with this notch. I don't really like the way that is, so I'm gonna make more of a swoop. You want to keep this part right here kind of straight. So I marked where I want the length to be. So I'm going to fold this up and draw a line for the bottom of the dress. Everywhere on the sides here, it had a 2 8 seam allowance. We have to account for that. This is gonna be my front pattern, and then I'm gonna use the front to trace the back too. Now we need to redo the back to match up with my new strap line that I made. So my friend wants to make a dress too. I'm gonna to copy this pattern and make a few different adjustments for her dress. Luckily this paper I'm using is see-through, so it'll be really easy to trace I'm just using a tablecloth, like a disposable tablecloth. See, you can see right through. There's my pattern. I'm gonna add some helpful reminders to the pattern. You don't need any seam allowance on the fold, but everywhere else, you're gonna need to add seam allowance. And here is the hem, so you might want a little more seam allowance. This dress we had, a 5 eighths. It's not included in here because we traced it. The hem was already folded over and sewn. So you're gonna need to add that. So now we're gonna cut out the pattern. This fabric is amazing. It's color changing, cool. Okay, so we're gonna cut out the pattern now. You want to make sure you check which is the stretchy side. So this way is the way it stretches. So you want the stretchy part going this way on your body. So fold the fabric in half with the wrong side up. And we're going to place this side on the fold.
presses together with the right sides facing each other. Now I'm going to pin the side seams together. It's important to match up the pieces so I stick a pin right here through this corner and I check the other side and it's matching right on that corner so I'm going to go ahead and pin this. Now I'm matching the shoulders together and I'm going to sew this. So to finish these edges, we're going to fold in half and then fold it over one more time. The armholes mm -hmm. and the neckline. These three. So now I've pinned all this and I'm going to sew right on this edge. Dress is reflecting on your dress. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <So pretty. laughs> There's one damn sound about living in the center of the UK. It's the highest rate of radiation.